Good morning, all my entrepreneurs out there. So today's first order of business is to go across the street to my friend Simone's house and take her this wig that I've got, this wig right here. And she's gonna revive and revamp it for me. We like literally across the street from each other. Um, yeah, so she's gonna make this into a blonde wig and I don't miss. Cause I'm just cleaning my house right now. And then after that, I'll be showing you guys how to use the stuff that you have around your house and basically afford affordable way to make business packages. So, I'm at Simone's, so I'll talk to you guys in just a moment. All right, y'all, so my wig is dropped up at daycare. So I'm gonna show you guys some um, creative, cool, affordable ways to make your brand stand out. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna let you know how much they cost and where you can get it from as well. So I'm gonna take you over to my organizing area. My lips is fancy. I'm gonna take you over to my organizing area and then we can get started. Right, Jeez? Let's go. What's up, guys? It's Destiny Moshe. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Slay Nation. And if you're not, you know, I'll rock with you the long way. So, um, no long introduction today. We're just gonna hop straight into business. So, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys affordable ways to be creative with your business and how to brand your packaging and stuff like that so um a lot of you guys you know if you already have like a t-shirt business where you make shirts and stuff like this this part will be um easy for you because you probably already have this and if you don't well um you can invest in this uh, this one, this actual machine isn't a part of the affordable series because it's definitely not affordable. <laughs> but if you do have it already, then you know I'm talking about the cookie machine or some of you guys might have the silhouette. I have the cookie machine. So um, with the cookie machine, you are able to basically make your own boxes. So me, I don't want to have to pay like a hundred dollars for however so many five thousand boxes I wanted to make my own boxes and I wanted to stand out I didn't want to you know whatever so this way since I already have the Cricut machine is a cost-effective way and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my boxes so if you didn't watch my video before this one go back and watch it I'll have it linked up above so these are basically glitter poster board papers and this is how I make my boxes. So they start off like this, basically just a square of poster board paper, white on the back, pink glitter, whatever on the front. And these can be found at Hobby Lobby and they were only $1.99 but Hobby Lobby is always having sales so they were a dollar a piece. Hmm. Can we say it again? A dollar a piece. A dollar a piece, okay? With this poster board in the Cricut machine, based off how I made my boxes, I can get about three boxes out of this one paper. So let me show you. So the paper boards come in a variety. I got things basically dealing with pink. Pink and gold. That's what I got. Pink and gold. And I got about 20 plus sheets or so. So, yeah. So here's a box that I made today with the paper that I just did. So, like I said, with each poster board, you can make about three of them. So this is an example. So this one was here. This one was cut out here. And you can slap another one right here at the bottom. So that's how you make boxes. And like I said, they are the paper was a dollar ninety-nine a steal already. There is a bug. Why is 
to always a bug whenever I film a video. Okay, so like I said, you can get those paper po you can get those poster board papers for a dollar ninety nine at Hobby Lobby. So make sure you get those, and plus they might be having a sale, so a dollar possibly you can get about three boxes out of that one paper. So you do the math. <laughs> That's a little knowledge for you. <laughs> so that's boxes. Next, I'm gonna show you guys mailers. So let me get my box. Okay. So mailers. These mailers you can get them for about two to five dollars a piece off Amazon, uh, Paper Mart. Uh, where else? Paper Mart, Paper Mart, Paper Mart, Amazon, Walmart, and the Dollar Tree. So many other places you can get them for like a dollar, between a dollar and five dollars. This box that I bought, how, wait, let me show you. I have a whole box of them. I bought 25 for 15 dollars, but like I said, you can get them cheaper. I just wanted it in bulk. So, you can get these mailers. These are possibly cheap. You can get these mailers for cheap. And with these mailers, you can basically brand yourself for the low low. And I'm going to show you how you can brand yourself. So, what you do is you go to a craft store or you go to... Um, Home Depot, you can go to Staples, Walmart, and you get you some, what you get you? Get you some sticker paper. <laughs> you can get this from Amazon, Walmart, or like I said, for cheap. So I got a pack for $7.99, a pack of five or six or whatever, for $7.99. And basically, if you have a logo or your name or whatever, all you gotta do is take a sheet, get your logo, print it on this paper. All you need is a printer, phone, or a laptop. Put your logo on the paper, and then you will have stickers to put on your mail. So I'm going to show you one of mine. Upside down. So here's one of mine. This is my Beauty Beats logo. And I have a cricket machine so I would usually just cut around this um, with the cricket machine. But since a lot of you probably don't have a cricket machine, I'm going to show you how to do it without which you know just cut <laughs> so what I do is I get this cutter or a pair of scissors so I slide it right here let me zoom you in okay so I put it on the trimmer or you guys can get scissors or whatever and I just cut it in half two stickers now to get the rest of it off because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see that on your thing so I basically do the same thing just run it through the trimmer Get that out the way. You get your mailer. This is where I do my the front part of mine. Peel it off. Bada boom, bada bam, ba bam. You got you a branded mailer, and that's what you do for every single mailer. So I'm gonna do one more. So. I already split it in half. Now I'm just going to align it and cut. Cut there. Cut 
here. Oh, wait. Well, I like the trimmer better because you get a a better cut, and this is like a very tedious job. It's so much quicker with the quicker machine or with the trimmer, as you can see. But with the scissors, you can get a precise cut, so you can literally go around everything. guys is labeling your own lip gloss tubes so you can basically get your own lip gloss tubes of uh, TKB trading you can get them of I think it's called DIYcosmetics.com and so many other places for cheap so um, I'm going to show you how to stand out by making your own lip gloss labels. so in my last video I talked about these papers right here so well not paper but yeah paper material whatever you want to call it so this material is called vinyl and you can get this from uh, Cricut.com, you can get it off Amazon, you can also get it from Walmart and Hobby Lobby. So this paper, you can basically write to make your own labels and this is again for all my Cricut um, or Silhouette exclusive um, members or whatever. 
but you can use this to make your own label so once again my old brand was called destiny moshe and i haven't quite did the labels yet for beauty b so i'm going to demonstrate how i did destiny moshe cosmetics so i have one that's already been cut out and everything so, and then here's my tube so i'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see this process okay so i get my tube right i get my paper this one already has destiny on it but you can't see it then i get my transfer tape and i cut about two two squares but i'm gonna do eight squares so you cut off about eight squares two rows of four And then you basically, I need take your name off of this. So it looks like it's already. Now it says destiny. So now what you do is you get your tube, you get your transfer paper, and you take it off. It's clear so that you can see what you're doing. You put it on the name. You get anything that you can that has the um a hard surface and just scrape it. You want your name to get stuck on the paper. Okay, you grab the whole thing, peel it off, and it should be revealing your name. Get your tube, slap it on there, scrape it so that it stays to the lip gloss tube. like that you got your product done you got your name on your product I don't know if it's blurry I can't see all the way down there but yeah thank you guys for hanging out with me today thank you guys for letting me show you how to decorate your own business boost it up a little bit and be creative being creative and just making everything your own for simple and cheap ways to do it um, I'll be back with more entrepreneurial life videos for you guys, or mompreneur, whatever you want to call it, just to show you guys what I do in my daily routine of, of being an entrepreneur with a makeup company. And, um, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Share this video with all your friends around the world. <laughs> And um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.